What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We have a crazy episode today. I'm Landon Chair. this is Maverick. Oh my goodness, are you excited for this video? This video just occurred, it's something that happened while we were filming another episode at the zoo, so we didn't really get the chance to talk about what was going on, we kinda just ran into action with everything. So while we were filming, we didn't really get a chance to properly explain, Maverick, what are you doing? He is marking his territory on these iguana girls here. Basically what happened is we had a green iguana get stuck inside our lemur enclosure. I don't know what happened. I guess he was walking around. There's all sorts of water features and vegetation that the iguanas love to graze on all throughout the zoo. So he was probably going from enclosure to enclosure, maybe trying to get into the lemur enclosure to eat some pieces of fruit or some veggies that were in there falling on the floor. He ended up getting stuck in the fencing of the enclosure. We actually have some iguana girls right here. We've got Zippy right here, and we've got Navi. She's back there. Oh, how are you doing? Navi's coming out to say hi. Do you want some scratches? Do you want some scratches, girl? Oh, she's climbing up. She's climbing up like a branch. You wanna go up top here? Look at this beautiful driftwood that we've got in here. There you go. These are the Lewis Eye hybrid iguanas. Maverick is looking up like, Dad, what are those things? Oh my goodness, you are such a beautiful girl. But these iguana girls are doing fine. The one at the zoo, not so much. Hopefully he is better now. This is actually being filmed after the fact to try to catch you guys up with what you're about to jump into. But guys, I do want to take the time right now. We are almost at a million subscribers and I can't thank you guys enough for all of the support on the channel. We have so much going on here. If you guys have been watching, we just moved to a new house. There is a lot of stuff going on and I can't wait to share it all with you. Maverick, are we ready to jump into today's episode? I will see you guys at the zoo. Goodness, guys, look at this. What were you doing in here, sir? Oh, 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 there he goes. There he goes, he's whipping. I got him, I got him by the tail. It seems like he just pushed himself through more than he had before. What we don't wanna do is have this guy hurt himself any more than he's already been. He's definitely stressed out. Look at this big iguana. This is a good size iguana here. Oh, we got the lemur. What are you doing? We don't want the lemur to get hurt either, so we gotta do this as quickly as possible. Come on, oh, oh, oh. We've got the ribs here. Come on, it might be easier to go inside the enclosure, but that might also freak out the lemurs a little bit. Now we've got up here on the head and all sorts of leavings from the lemurs, which is not good. This guy could definitely rip off my finger right now, so we've gotta be careful. Hold on, we've gotta tuck him in here. How did you get in here, buddy? You know what we have to do? We have to bend these legs backwards. I think he realizes we're helping him. Look at this guy. The lemur's coming to check it out. He doesn't know what's going on. Oh goodness, just like this. Oh, I think we've got to tuck this hand through. I know it's a tight squeeze, buddy. These claws keep hooking onto here. This is a nasty job. The lemurs are freaking out because they don't know what's going on. Last finger here. Oh, 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 there we go. We've got one foot out. We've got the head. Lemurs are going crazy, guys. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost done, big boy. Okay, all right, squeeze through here, just like this. And there we go, look at this. Oh my goodness, we have got this massive iguana. Look at this, guys, he's all stressed out. Poor guy, let's take him over here. I'm sorry, lemur kids. I am so sorry, lemur kids. What do we have here? Do we have an intruder? He might have been trying to steal some fruit. It looks like there's some stuff on his face. Now, I don't know if that's just from him getting into their fecal matter that was on the floor. That cage does need to be sprayed out, but you can see these guys have a big, beautiful enclosure. But look at this. This guy is all stressed out, but luckily we got him in time. Definitely got to clean this guy off. I'm planning to release him, I guess, here on the property now. Iguanas are invasive, yes. They do not belong here, but their population is so large that really trying to remove this guy from here, he's kind of one of our friends here at the zoo. I've seen this guy around and now he's just gotten too big to fit through some of those enclosures. We might need to lessen the water, get all this nastiness off his face. You just got into some craziness. I'm sorry if this water is a little too harsh. This guy could whack my thumb right now, so we've gotta be very careful, but he seems to be pretty stressed out. He really just needs a quick bath here. 
He could whack me with his tail. All right, big boy. Oh, look at that. He's already looking so much better. He's got some good weight on him and there's flies all over him though because there's still, he's got some poop on his face. It's all right. I think he realizes that we're helping him out. So he's got to put this guy under the hose, get him all cleaned up. His hands were also in a bunch of nastiness and we don't want him spreading any bacteria around the zoo when we release him here. This guy is not gonna go far. He hangs out by our ponds in the front by all the fish. Iguanas are actually very aquatic as far as the way they use the water. They love to use water systems to swim around and get from place to place instead of walking around a whole area they'll cut right through the water they can swim very well and we don't want this guy carrying any bacteria from enclosure to enclosure that is a concern with having big reptiles and all sorts of animals walking around is we don't want bacteria to get spread from this habitat to another so cleaning this guy off and i think he's good to go so we're here at the waterfall where this boy loves to hang out we actually saw him just yesterday here with limbani we'll try to roll a clip of that now limbani what is that big guy there you can do it what is that big guy there what is that oh big iguana just jumped down come over here on this side look at this we have a beautiful green iguana now he's an orange male he's all fired up the big males get orange like that but when they're babies they have this bright green color and bonnie what is that big scary guy but this is his home this is where he loves to be and so this is where we're putting him back hopefully he doesn't get stuck in that enclosure again I, he seems pretty weak i don't know if we should leave him right here hold on we're actually gonna put this guy on some solid ground so that way he does not fall off that railing. He seems very, very weak, guys. He's got all those pretty pretty fish behind us. Here you go, boy. Here you go. He just needs a minute to get rid of that lactic acid in his system because he is all stressed out. We're not gonna touch him anymore. I think we're just gonna leave him. He's starting to realize that he's been let go. We're getting some head movement there. We'll check on him in about five minutes. And we are back at the house again, guys. If you have made it this far to the video, thank you so much. Please comment down below and I will try to get to all of your comments and respond to you guys again. I'm so happy for all of the support on the channel. I'm trying to use this baby over here more. We got the big boat over here and we have tons of boating adventures, ocean-based content, lake-based content, whatever you guys wanna see. Maverick. Are you going to the bathroom? That is indecency. But anyway, I'm so glad that we had the chance to save that iguana. The poor thing was stuck and we ended up getting him. The kitten the other day was next to the lion enclosure and we have her actually here at the house. If you guys wanna see her, you're gonna have to stick around to the next video on the channel. Thank you so much for watching and supporting again. I can't thank you guys enough. I will see you guys next time. Peace.